Ever since its launch, the James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled the universe like never before. It has shown us parts of the universe that lay hidden beneath layers of dust. It has given us enhanced images of cosmic wonders that the Hubble Space Telescope once captured. It has revealed that the early universe behaved very differently than what we assumed. And now, it has allowed astronomers to observe something that they are currently unable to explain. In a recent study conducted by the Webb Telescope, astronomers spent 50 hours peering into the depths of the cosmos and discovered something that has left them scratching their heads. Let's find out what's going on. And as always, welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Alright, so we all know how the Webb Telescope found stars forming in the universe's dark ages. Now, astronomers studying the universe via the telescope, spent 50 hours peering into the deepest part of the cosmos, and guess what? They spotted some of the first galaxies ever formed, well over 13 billion years ago. The universe, is believed to be 13.8 billion years old. The ability to capture such a vast cosmic landscape, featuring the faintest objects ever glimpsed by humanity, is an impressive achievement. And only Webb could have done it with its infrared detecting capabilities. However, what makes this interesting is that the data reveals these primordial galaxies, emitted an extraordinary amount of energy into space, ten times more than scientists had predicted. One of the crucial questions raised by this discovery is how these nascent galaxies achieved such high energy output. Scientists are now refereeing to this as the key question. Advanced computing simulations have attempted to model the evolution of the universe over billions of years, including the formation of stars, galaxies, and the organic building blocks of life. However, none of these simulations predicted the extreme levels of ultraviolet energy observed. Possible explanations for this phenomenon include the presence of young, highly energetic stars that emit copious amounts of energy, surpassing the output of our own medium-sized sun. Alternatively, this ancient light could have been generated by supermassive black holes, which are hundreds of thousands to billions of times more massive than the sun, and are typically found at the centers of galaxies, like our Milky Way. So which one is it? Peculiar black holes or humongous active stars? To answer the question, let's look at what the astronomers found whilst looking at the deepest part of the cosmos. Well, for starters, they identified 44 galaxies that likely formed within the first 500 million years of the universe's existence. Initially, the energy emitted by these galaxies was in the form of ultraviolet light, but it has since been stretched to infrared wavelengths. The, however, the discovery of these perplexing findings has generated more questions than answers, but it has also sparked excitement among researchers. Most scientists are now leaning towards supermassive black holes as the reason for the early light in the baby universe. But what this does, is that it raises a very big question, possible the biggest we have asked so far, how did these supermassive black holes form in the first place? Because most black holes form from the remnants of a large star that dies in a supernova explosion, the existence of stars to form a black hole is crucial. No stars, no black holes, unless they are direct collapse black holes that form from stellar gas. Does it mean that there are stars even older than what we have found so far with the help of Webb? Is our universe stranger than what we thought? For the latter, I'd say most definitely. In the foggy dawn of the universe, an object has emerged that has left astronomers in awe. Observations collected through the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed an active supermassive black hole, 10 million times the mass of the Sun, one that is actively growing as it slurps up matter from the space around it. At just 570 million years after the Big Bang, this is the earliest growing supermassive black hole detected yet, although scientists are hoping it won't remain the record holder for long. The black hole was found inside one of the earliest galaxies ever detected, previously known as EGSY-8P7, though since renamed Soros 1019. Its discovery could help with one of the biggest head-scratchers of the early universe, how the black holes in the cosmic dawn grew to such large sizes, in such a short amount of time. We found the most distant active galactic nucleus, AGN, and the most distant, earliest black hole we've ever found, said an astrophysicist associated with the finding. 
Scientists were initially looking at Soros 1019 as part of their work investigating light, produced by star formation in the very early universe. This light, called Lyman alpha emission, is thought to be generated by the ionization of neutral hydrogen by star formation activity. The early universe was filled with a fog of neutral hydrogen, which prevented light from propagating, it was only after this hydrogen was ionized that light could stream freely. This epoch of reionization, as it is known, is not fully understood. We know it took place in the first billion years after the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago. But seeing that far into the early universe is really hard. Source 1019 and a handful of other super-early galaxies are excellent targets for this research, because they're relatively bright. The galaxy was identified in Hubble data in 2015, and at the time, was the earliest, most distant galaxy observed. Subsequent observations confirmed its existence, but more detailed information remained elusive, as the earliest light in the universe has shifted so far into the infrared part of the spectrum due to the universe's expansion, that a powerful, dedicated infrared instrument like JWST is necessary to probe them. So, when JWST came along, Soros 1019, the brightest of the Hubble galaxies from this epoch, was an obvious target. The telescope stared at the galaxy for just one hour, with all four of its instruments, but returned a wealth of data. In the moment I was kind of like, wow look at everything we can see with JWST, we've seen this whole portion of the spectrum of this galaxy, and any galaxies early on in the universe, we've never seen before, said astrophysicist Rebecca Larson. I was just overwhelmed by the amount of information. But then she noticed something she wasn't quite expecting. In addition to the light of star formation, there was a broad emission feature usually associated with AGN. And when she mentioned it to some AGN researchers, things started to get interesting. Typically a galaxy in the early universe emits either light from an AGN, or light from star formation. To see both in the same galaxy was extremely unexpected. There is some impact that the black hole is having on the emission lines that we're seeing. But most of the light we see in our images, is still dominated by the star-forming part of the galaxy. That a supermassive black hole existed more than 13.2 billion years ago, and was seen growing, is not as surprising as you might think. Much larger black holes have been detected in the early universe. Scientists still do not know how the black holes in those galaxies got to be so massive, that early on, in the universe. We have only recently discovered galaxies that formed only 300 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies are big and complex, and scientists around the world were baffled, as according to the standard model of cosmology, such galaxies cannot exist so early on. These were first spotted as a series of fuzzy dots that appeared unusually bright and unusually red. The six giant galaxies, which contain almost as many stars as the Milky Way despite forming only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, have been dubbed universe breakers by the team of astronomers that spotted them. That's because, if they're real, the discovery calls our entire understanding of galaxy formation into question. Explaining the existence of such massive galaxies, this close to the dawn of time, would require scientists to revisit the basic rules of cosmology and the understanding of how the first galaxies were seeded from small clouds of stars and dust. The discovery of such massive galaxies so soon after the Big Bang suggests that the Dark Ages may not have been so dark after all, and that the universe may have been awash with star formation far earlier than we thought. Now, with the discovery of this black hole only some 500 million years after the birth of the universe, is a mystery in itself. The image of the early universe is changing faster than we expected. And like it or not, it is time to get back to the drawing board. The James Webb Space Telescope continues to push the boundaries of knowledge, providing valuable insights into the mysteries of the universe. As we eagerly await further discoveries, both answers and new questions, the Webb Telescope remains at the forefront of scientific exploration. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore.